Hey everybody, this is Kevin with NursingCamp.com and today I'm going to go over a brain sheet book that's available at Nursing Camp and I'm going to go over the sheets, why we need it, and see why this is the most important tool that you'll have starting nursing. Okay, this is the brain sheet book, the overview of the brain sheet book, why you need it, and we're going to go through all the different pages in this and let's get right into it. All right, first let's talk about the book. You know, the book is a, a small book, so it can fit in a scrub pocket, and it, it basically provides all the resources for nursing, and especially if you're just starting nursing school. Um, in the first, first year or the second year, this lays down the foundations of vital signs and what you need to know. The reason I created this book was mainly to start off nursing school and to work through, you know, the basic foundations so that as you go from beginning med search, working on your assessments and understanding the basic concepts, then it goes to the second book, which we'll talk about later, called Clinical Camp, which is an advanced med search book. All right, so... So that's the main why of why I have the book. Now, the book is included with nursingcamp.com. So if you're a basic member, I mean, you get the book for free with that membership. Um, when is this book used? So this book is generally used right out of the gate at the beginning of nursing school. So basically, even a, even a person who is a nurse, it's a good review book to basically look at the foundation. All right, when you open up the book, we're going to look through the basic pages here. And you can see right here, there's 13 pages that cover the vital information. I call these the vital pages. And the reason they're the vital pages is they're the stuff that you'll be doing with your assessment. So the front page basically talks about labs. The next page is all about temperature. And when I approached the content in building this book, it was all about understanding the pathophysiology because as you understand the pathophysiology you're able to adapt and then you're able to elevate your practice and your assessment skills we go on to respiratory uh, assessment where we look at the lung sounds and different kinds of terms like apneustic uh, bronchovesicular and basically so that you can understand all the terminology that is used during the assessment and to build on that the terminology. So you should be basically over, outgrowing this book. The next is heart rate and pulses. Then we go into blood pressure and the pathophysiology behind it, pain assessment, different types of injections, heart sounds. And I even have an advanced page called ECG. Just the basics of understanding what they are. Uh, we go into IV fluids a little bit, neuro assessment and wounds and in those wounds and the wound assessment the skin assessment the next pages are our assessments and this is our head to toe this is at the back of the book and this is just generally a reference point for building because in nursing in the beginning first and fundamentals of nursing you're learning your head to toe and that's usually a validation that you're responsible to know this part of the book is for that validation and to basically look at that content so that you're able to um, apply your head to toe assessment. So you see a lot of kind of variables of um, information on, you know, the, the tongue, the anatomical positions and stuff like that. The reason that's there is for your head to toe assessment. And then we finish off with cranial nerves on the end. The last page actually goes into more of the statistical stuff like, you know, conversions, weights, and temperatures and different things, things that you would use. So, so this back page right here is something that you would use for conversions. The next part of this is the brain sheet part. And the brain sheets are what we use in reports and how we look at it. Uh, this has over 60 pages, which is about 120 brain sheets because they're front and back, and you're able to tear them out if you want to, or you can leave them in there as, as a report book. So why do we need this, this book and why was this book created? Well, when we're looking at 
nursing, we're building on the foundation of assessment. And that assessment needs mastery. In order to master nursing, we need to know this basic foundation. And we should be outgrowing this book. So the, the max thing is this is a study book. This is a study book that is used in clinical that you end up growing out of. And you end up going to the next book, which is the clinical camp book. And the main reason we, we I've built this book and I wrote this book was was for building the foundation for students that come into my nursing five because I found that a lot of times what would happen is is that there's certain things that were missed and and you know I expect them to know a certain part when they come into nursing uh, my course which is advanced med search so this book is perfect for beginning nursing nursing one uh, med search, the first med search, and even for the second med search to pick up and to start rebuilding that foundation to come back into uh, into your mind as far as what you need to know. And why do we do this? It's because of this conceptual um, sheet that I use in my class. And this conceptual sheet is everything that you need to know about that patient, whatever condition this, this is. And you'll see this conceptual sheet. Please see my video on this. I'll put a link in the below about it. Um, like I said, this is included with nursingcamp.com. It's free with that membership at any level. And it can also be found on Etsy. Um, so if you're not a follower yet, please follow. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, and uh, Etsy. Or see me on Nursing Camp and, and then nurse on.